How a Rocket Barrage Might Shower Molten Destruction in the Sky Popular Science Monthly, November 1924 Rivaling the widely discussed death ray of H. Grindel Matthews, a terrific new weapon of offensive and defensive warfare recently has been developed in the form of a death rocket, designed to throw out a flaming shower of molten metal miles above the Earth's surface. The inventor is Ernest Welsh of North Ferriby, East Yorkshire, England. From demonstrations and descriptions of the new war machine by Mr. Welsh, our artist has drawn the dramatic picture above, showing how the defenders of a city might repel an attack from the air by raining flaming molten pellets on the invaders. The inventor's recent experiments with medium-sized rockets is said to have proved that each shower, bursting high in the air, can cover an area of a hundred square yards and can ignite any object within that region. The experimental rockets, it is claimed, can climb to a height of five miles. The rocket contains a destructive charge of 700 pellets, a regulating charge, a detonator, and a propelling charge. When it is to be sent aloft, it rests in a diagonal launching cradle, somewhat similar to those used for ordinary skyrockets. When the fuse is ignited, the propelling charge sends the rocket soaring out of its cradle. Thereafter, at regular intervals, it is given fresh impetus by the bursting of additional successive charges. For use as defense against raiding aircraft, the inventor says that batteries of the rockets could be shot upward in the form of a barrage. The pellets quickly burn themselves out, he adds, so that the rockets could be used over a city. Mr. Welsh is at work on a modification of the same weapon that can be fired from airplanes or airships, falling about 300 feet before bursting.